Yilil, this is future me here. I just want to say this. Before you end up commenting, before you even like go through the entire video, because I know some of you guys probably just watched like maybe two or three minutes of the video and then don't even bother to watch the entire video. I'm just going to say watch the entire video first and then you can have your own opinions or your own comments that you want to say about what I think about what I'm about to discuss in the video. So please do that first. And then if you want to have a discourse, if you want to discuss on the matter of what I have said in the video, then we can do that right afterwards. All right, then I have a couple of things that I want to talk about when it comes to Tekken 8 issues that I find that overall grinds my gears when I play this game. Now, you may already know from all of my videos that I tend to complain a lot about sidesteps or tracking in this game, right? Not many people really talk about tracking or sidesteps in Tekken 8 because a lot of them, you know, they don't really seem to really care or they don't really see there's a problem with tracking or sidesteps in Tekken 8. Now, I have been doing some tests to see whether or not that if tracking is truly a problem in Tekken 8 and if sidesteps themselves are a problem as well either one now the test that I did was that I was playing as Brian it doesn't really matter which character in reality but I chose Brian because I've been having fun with Brian and I tested out to see if whether or not if let's say in this case Heachi the control group here decides to go for down forward one if I attempt to sidestep to either side. Now, from what I've heard, supposedly, that down forward one is actually quite linear, that you can sidestep the move to both sides. Now, I'm going to attempt to sidestep it at a neutral range, and you'll see what's going to happen. As you see right here, I, I still got hit by the down forward one, right? I didn't escape it, right? You can see that I pressed the, the jab, the one, I waited 17 frames, and then I sidestepped in five frames, right? This time, I attacked at 4 frames, was delayed at 15 frames, and then sidestepped at 4 frames. Same thing. 4 frames in attack, delay at 20 frames, sidestep at 4 frames. And look at here. I attacked at 4 frames. I then delayed at 23 frames to then sidestep, or recover at 23 frames you can say, and then sidestep at 4 frames. This time, I've managed to escape the down forward one. Why is that? Why am I able to escape the sidestep now, unlike before? Now, here's the thing. From my thorough testing, from what I can check, Heihachi's down forward one is actually not as linear as people make it out to be. It's actually more susceptible. I, I'm, I can't pronounce the word, my bad. It's weaker to his right side, Heihachi's right side, meaning that you need to be sidestepping to your left side in order to beat it accordingly. If you attempt to do so at the right side, you'll get hit. If you try timing it as fast as possible, you may end up still getting hit anyways, even before you even manage to then sidestep. Oh, look at there. Now I've managed to sidestep the move. Why is that? Why is that all of a sudden, now Brian is able to sidestep to the right side? Even though he is actually stronger at tracking you at, this, in this case, <laughs> having trouble finding the words to say, Brian's right side. This makes no sense to me. Is it because I timed it better? Is it because I uh, did it right in between the recovery frames at a faster pace? Is that the reason why? If that is the case, then I should be able to do it at faster, a faster pace and still manage to escape. Here is slightly faster, right? I recovered a little quicker and I sidestepped better, but I still got hit. Here, even faster. Still somehow got hit. And again, you see that at five frames of attacking Hiachi, and then waiting to recover and then to sidestep at 20 frames, and then sidestep below, or in this case to my right, at three frames. This time I've managed to escape the down forward one. From what I can see here, the reason why I'm able to sidestep the move is that the game will then decide, depending on the coding, that the Brian can then escape the attack at any moment's notice, depending on exactly the overall axis, the overall frames, the overall of anything that the game decides, that Brian can then set the move. Which means that there's a bit of a variable when you're fighting in game, that there's anything that you may end up doing, you'll just end up getting hit anyways because the game said so. This is something that you can't control. Even if you know that you can step the move, you can't control it. The game decides whether or not if for whatever reason, the hitbox of my character may have increased, or if 
for whatever reason, Heihachi's down forward one has increased in terms of the hitbox so that I still get hit by the move. It's almost like an impossibility that you can actually figure out whether or not if the attack can be stacked. And this becomes very aggravating to me. I don't know if it's aggravating to you guys whenever you attempt to sidestep in the game that now you don't even know for sure for certain that if the move in question is actually sidesteppable to both sides as some creators will say some creators i've seen online say that the move is very susceptible to getting evaded the sidestep to both sides which i don't really think is the case now mind you this is at the neutral so it might be different if you're up close like at the character's face while he's about to do down forward one right as you see here, it's more lenient. I'm able to actually escape it at the left side, or Brian's left side. Now let's attempt the right side. I still get hit. Now mind you, supposedly this move is linear at both sides, from what some people have been saying, but it's not. This could easily be because of Brian's overall hitbox that if he attempts to go to sidestep at the right side, he'll still get hit. Oh, look at that. I sidestep the move now. This is what confuses me. It's either the tracking in this game is terrible, or this whole idea that sidesteps are actually working in the game is completely false. That they have been buffed in game. That they buffed sidesteps in Tekken 8, and I don't really see that to be the case. I might not be a, a game director or, or whatever, I'm not really good at coding or anything like that. But if the game is intended to have certain moves that are lenient, that are more linear for you to step to, then shouldn't any character in the game have the possibility of stepping these moves if they're supposedly linear, right? It makes no sense that this is not the case from what my testing. Now, from what I can see overall, if you really want to step this move to your right side, you can't step it, but you can sidewalk it. Which also doesn't make any sense really, because you also have to add another input, which may overall increase the amount of frames when you're moving but since you're also trying to dodge away maybe that's the reason why it works more so than if you're stepping but again this is a variable that you have to then take in if you can't really step to both sides and you have to rely on sidewalking to get away from the move this means that you may not even have enough time to then punish accordingly on the move because now you know that you can't really step this move to that side. You have to sidewalk it. And again, even though it seemingly seems weaker at the left side to then punish accordingly, as you already saw in the beginning, that there's a chance that even if you're up close, you can still get hit by the move. So it doesn't matter if your timing is perfect. There's a variable in mind that it just in general just doesn't work. That you may end up still getting hit by the incoming move because either sidestepping is not as good as it is, or tracking in this game is way too high. So moves like this suddenly just work. All right, so here's another thing that I wanna mention. When it comes to moves that either have way too much tracking or if the case is, is that sidesteps are not as strong as they are in Tekken 8. Now, ever since the, I believe it's patch 1.05, when they ended up nerfing Heat Burst, right? The tracking on this move. Now you saw that the Hachi ended up sidestepping to his right side, right? Now I'm going to attempt to use my heat burst right with brian and the dummy is going to then sidestep it to the right side you see that it works as intended as they ended up doing with the nerfing of heat bursting so that way it doesn't track to both sides right not to the left side oh look at that it somehow manages to hit heihachi even though he stepped preemptively to get away from the heat burst this again is another issue in the game from my overall testing there are several characters and by several i mean mm, there's a dozen of them that when you attempt to sidestep to the left side even though you preemptively done it and you think they're gonna go for a heat burst they can still hit you out of your step but here you see that sidewalking doesn't work either there's a chance that you can still hit the opponent if they attempt to then sidestep you, or sidewalk you in this case, to the left side. Which means that if you're the one facing that opponent, using a character in the game, where if they use a heat burst and you attempt to step or sidewalk to the left side, you will still preemptively get hit by those moves. It does not make sense that they state during that patch that they fixed the problem with the tracking and heat bursting, but it's not had been, it, it hasn't been fixed, that's what I'm trying to get at, it hasn't been fixed. 
you can still get hit by heat bursting even when you correctly step to either side. And you can't tell me that it's because, oh, this character is unique, this character is different, they have a different hitbox, they have a different animation, so therefore they can get away with it. I don't, I don't agree with that mentality, with that statement. It doesn't make any sense if the whole purpose of nerfing heat bursting is to make it so that it's lenient enough to that you can then step to either side or sidewalk to either side. But you can see right here that doesn't really matter for some characters. Now what about if you're up close? Maybe it should be a lot easier to step the move, right? To the right side, yes. But not to the left side. It still ends up eating up, clipping the opponent and hitting them with the heat burst. And even if they sidewalk, you still can't beat it. Heat bursting is not as linear as it seems, right? Now, from what I've tested, I tested all the characters besides Eddie because I don't have Eddie. And from the experiments, there are several characters, like I just mentioned, that do have this problem. That even if you attempt to sidestep to the left side especially, you can't escape heat bursting. Asuka is one of them, though it depends on the distance. Same thing with Brian. Same thing with Dragunov, which is no surprise, really. It works with Jin, depending on distance. Works with King, doesn't matter if this distance or not, it can be up close or personal, it doesn't really matter, it will still hit. For Leo, it works as well. And for Xiao Yu. Everybody else doesn't really work. If they attempt to do a heat burst and you step to either side or either sidewalk to either side, you can actually evade it. So it doesn't really matter if you're facing those characters that are not included in my list, that if you attempt to sidestep them to either side when they heat burst, you will be able to evade them. But the ones that I've mentioned, those you can't if you're stepping or sidewalking to the left side. Again, this is an issue that the developers may have over, you know, maybe, maybe haven't overseen, but the players have. They figured out that yes, you can still get hit by these incoming moves. So you still have to be careful when they tend to come out. Which comes to my conclusion here. I think that tracking in this game is a big problem. And there's another issue. The issue is, is that even when you do step a move or sidewalk a move, and you attempt to then retaliate, you know, to counter the enemy, there's a chance that depending on, on the move that the opponent uses, if it has a follow-up, that it would auto-correct itself and then auto-track to your side. To where you're attempting to attack. This is something that PDX has mentioned and other creators have mentioned as well that if you do attempt to sidestep and you attack immediately while trying to sidestep that you will still get clipped by the moves because it just auto corrects itself and then tracks you heavily to the side that you're at. So a lot of times you just have to like either sidestep emptively or sidewalk it and then attack once they're done attacking you which may mean that if you do sidestep or slider walk and you don't attack immediately, that you may end up whipping your attempt to stopping them from attacking you, to counter hit them. There's too many problems when it comes to the overall tracking in the game, as well as sidestepping. So yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Again, uh, it's just overall my opinions on the matter. If you do agree with me, then you can agree with me. If you don't agree with me, then it's completely fine as well. If you like the video, if you like what I just said, give the video a like. If you don't like what I said, you can dislike the video if you want to. And if you want to subscribe to see any future content, just let me know by simply subscribing to me. And please hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos that I will release. And yeah, stay tuned, stay safe.